chain reaction has begun. We are starting off with an alkaline solution of sodium hydroxide in here. Now, this is kind of pink because I have had it added as an indicator to it. The indicator is called phenol phthalene. It is pink in an alkaline solution, but when it becomes acidic, it will turn to a colourless liquid. Now, fortunately, we've got some acid down at the bottom there. We'll have a neutralisation reaction when the alkaline meets the acid, and the wine will turn to water. Can you all see that? The pink liquid is turning colourless as soon as it hits the bottom. Now, the first billion ball is being released, going up the into the staircase, buying the forces of gravity, rolling along over here to our next reaction. So we've got here an acid so powerful that when you sprinkle it on your chips, it would make them taste amazing. It is, of course, more vinegar, and we're going to add to that some sodium bicarbonate, which will produce for us loads of carbon dioxide gas bubbling and foaming up inside the thing there. The billiard ball has got itself a little bit stuck, it's feeling lazy, it's got those early morning first thing blues, but no, here we go. The wave machine has been unleashed, the lentils are being released. Uh, lentils, of course, the least bouncy of all the legumes. Perfect for this experiment. And now, the bowl has been lifted, the fan has been activated. We can smell something down the front. Can you guys smell that? <coughs> Lovely, fresh scent of peppermint there, wafting over. The volatile esters in the peppermint oil are evaporating into a gas and being blown across <coughs> to your nose. Now, the acetone in there is dissolving the segments in the polystyrene blocks in unleashing the diffusion machine. This is simulating the mixing of liquids. We've got orange juice on one side, milk on the other. We're making our very own science festival milkshake through the random Brownian motion of the molecules there. Now we move on over here to the iodine. Iodine in the spoon here is an orangey brown color, but when it meets the paper, the starch, it turns a lovely purple. Up the chemical elevator, through the floors of chemistry, into Alex, the on, electrolysis device. So we've moved around a lot of chemicals. Now we're trying to move some electrons. We start with zinc over here, move to copper over there, uh, through the medium of a potato, just like that. We're generating a voltage, a voltage of around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. Not too shabby for first thing in the morning, but oh, hey, what's that? I think the needle's looking a little bit scared. I think he doesn't like us all, look at him. He wants to move to the third and final bit over here, the Alka Seltzer tablet. Now you can see the tablet in there fizzing and bubbling away. It's generating more carbon dioxide gas, just like we saw in the vinegar all the way back there. But this time it is dissolving as well. Can you stay back there for me? Thank you. It's dissolving, it's getting thinner and thinner. Eventually the metal pole there will fall, revealing the periodic table of the elements. And now the periodic table is possibly the most important tool for any chemist. It enables us to look exactly at where the elements are, where they're arranged. It was invented over a hundred years ago by a Russian scientist, Dmitry Mendeleev. He was one of 15 in his family. He was a bigamist. He worked for the Russian Department of Weights and Measures, where he invented the modern system of labeling alcohol, 40% by volume. Uh, and he invented the periodic table. Here we have about half the elements that we have today to work with. But he was able to design this, ordered by atomic weight, leaving gaps for the elements that hadn't yet been discovered. And then when they were discovered, they were proved to fit exactly where he said they were. So there he is down there, Mendeleev, symbol MD, and the 101. He has released for us the final billiard ball of the morning, which will very shortly hit our very own chemical symbol. Oh. And so there we go, approaching the end of the reaction. We have Splattastic here and here, we have Poggy Potions there, we have Mad Lab, we have Photo Lab, we have the Cozy Cozy Game Show, and that's the chain reaction.